Hi everyone, we're back again um, and we're back into continuing with uh, dealing with articles. Now remember in my first tutorial on articles um, I, did, I mentioned in the options tab to leave everything set at global. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through this global, uh, all this global stuff and where we get these settings from. Alright, so I'll just close the article. Now in the articles manager area which is where we're at the moment, okay. Over on the right hand side there's a button that says options. So let's click on that and this is where we have the settings for all those options that you had plus a whole range of others as you can see here um, that we had for uh, our options. So I'm only going to cover off on the options here. We'll do these ones a little bit later on once we get some uh, some more articles into this site and uh, and I can show it to you uh, a little bit better. Um, it's all, all, all these are fairly important to uh, to understand and how they work. But at the moment I'm just going to show you the options. Okay, so I've got I've got our home page option up up and there you can see our first article. This is my first article. You can see there. Notice the text is fairly small, just a light pink same as what was in the editor. Um, if I get time on this tutorial I'll show you how we can fix that but that's what it's going to look like on your site. So there you go, but there you have it. Also notice the title, my first article, and when it was published, who it was written by, and a couple of links and hits and bits and pieces here. Okay, and also the category down here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we can we can pull these off or we can add stuff to them and do whatever we want. We can get rid of them. I don't, personally, I don't like to have them on the page at all. It tends to detract from the, uh, the article itself. So what I do is up here we can have uh, the first option is show title. If we hide that and go save, okay, and we go and refresh our page, notice the article's hidden. Now the home link here, that's part of your menu here, and I'll show you how to get rid of that a little bit later on. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain that, but the article's gone. So I tend to keep my uh, my, my title shown. Um, link titles. This is used when you have a list of categories. Um, when you list your category articles in a category, uh, it'll link the titles. I don't tend to use that, so I just leave it off. Don't touch it. Um, show intro text, uh, and I'll get into more of that when we start um, I'll, I'll, when we start putting some more information in there. Um, intro text is. Uh, when you have a read more and we do up a, a blog layout and I'll show you how to use that a little bit later on. Uh, leave it as show at this stage. Position of article info um, you can leave that above. Now if we put it below and we click save okay we refresh this page. This information this article information oh, there it is there. There's down there. June Literal. So there's your tags down there that you have. Uh, and whatnot. So it, again, more information to clog up the article, and I really don't like using it. So I just leave that as uh, above. Okay. Show category. No, I don't want to show the category. I don't want to link to the category. Uh, I don't want to show the parent. I don't want to link to the parent. So I leave all those hidden. Okay. Show the author. No, I want to get rid of the author. Uh, you, obviously it's up to you if you want to keep them or not, um, it's it's entirely up to you. Um, show the published date, I don't think they need to know when it was published, they don't need to navigate to it, um, they don't, know, don't want to know voting. We keep the read more because that's to do with your intro text. Um, we don't want the title to come with the read more, that's a bit of it makes it a bit of messy. The read more limit I bring up to about 150 characters. Um, it's probably a better better amount. Uh, show tags, yeah, show tags. I'm not too worried by that. Uh, we can again, it's up to you how you do it. Uh, show icons. I don't usually like to have any icons showing, so I'll hide all of those. And if they're all hidden, I don't really care about where the links are. Okay, once happy with that, we go save and okay. Now we refresh the page, and you'll notice. All right, all of the information around the article is gone. So you've got my first article and the content. Much neater, much tidier. Again, it's up to you how you want to lay it out. You can have it laid out there if you like and have all the bells and whistles in there. Personally, my personal preference is I like it clean and no information around the article because it tends to distract, detract from the article itself. Okay, so uh, there it is there and that's how, that's how you do it. Now, that's using the global configuration. 
okay so we've done that we'll save and close it so that's it so now whenever you write an article that's the settings you're going to have now you can change that if you like okay now what you can do is in the options menu notice you've got use global so all of these areas are the same same headings but you can actually specifically turn on and off um, certain features from within the article and override the global settings so in this instance we've removed the heading on this article so hide the shader if we go back here and refresh the, t refresh the page again oh it stayed there okay uh, sorry I'm back again I took a bit of time away there I've paused the video um, it appears that there's a bit of a bug happening on uh, Joomla 3 that I've found uh, and that is I've set the global configuration up now what you're supposed to be able to do is come into the articles um, options see so we're now my first article we go to the options you're supposed to be able to override your global configurations with the article um, configurations like if you wanted to on this particular um, particular article hide the title you click hide and click save and it should hide the article on that side hide the article on that hide the title on that article um, but when I click refresh it doesn't actually do it as you can see the article still the first the title is still there so I might just go back to June and do a bit of research on that and I'll get back to you on the, on that one but theoretically you're supposed to be able to on the lower level override your global settings by using your articles here okay and if I can uh, find out what's happening there I will certainly let you know on a later tutorial that is uh, what I want to talk, talk about there now the other thing I was going to cover off on was this little this uh, the color of this uh, the screen here okay this getting rid of this, this little light red lights of uh, red text and small articles now if we go close we'll change the settings on that by going to content uh, sorry components we go to components and go to JC editor and global configuration okay if we look down here and we're looking for editor styles it's using the template CSS file what you want here is the default okay leave it to default happy with that save and close and when we go back into our article all right, notice the text is now black and it's a little bit bigger okay and that's basically how you how you change that up now you, a lot of people are going to leave it set up because then they see exactly how it's going to look like on the front page um, but I'm happy with it best being black and white and editing it from there and look at it from the front page that's all I've got time for for this uh, tutorial um, like I said I'll get back to you on that uh, options category that's uh, was a little bit of a uh, surprise to me uh, in the older versions you could override your global settings by using this um, obviously Joomla 3 uh, has a little bit of a bug in it and I'll, re I'll report that and find out what's going on um, hope you liked this tutorial got something out of it um, if you did please hit the like button uh, subscribe to the channel that would be appreciated uh, and I'll see you on the next tutorial bye for now